If you like creamy, cheesy dips, this easy spinach artichoke dip recipe is for you. Spinach artichoke dip has been one of my favorite dips for years, but I tested this homemade version over and over and over again until it was just right. It's the perfect balance of healthy spinach and artichokes, a creamy base, and a gooey mozzarella finish. Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and I make easy, healthy recipes with 10 ingredients or less. So today I'm showing you how to make spinach artichoke dip. You need just a few common ingredients and it's ready in just 30 minutes. It's the perfect way to start a party. Let's do this. I'm going to start by cooking the spinach. This is just going to prevent the dip from being too watery. I'll heat this up over medium heat and add two teaspoons of olive oil. You can also use avocado oil here if you like. Any cooking oil will work. Let that heat up a little bit first. And I'm going to add four ounces of fresh spinach. If you only have frozen spinach on hand, you can use that as well. If you do that, you actually will not even need to cook it. All you're gonna have to do is just use a little bit less. You'll need about two to two and a half ounces of frozen if you're using that instead of fresh. This will only take a few minutes to wilt. Just stir it occasionally as you go. And if you want a shortcut, you can also microwave this for about a minute or so. That will wilt the spinach as well. Set the spinach aside to cool and you can transfer it to a bowl to make this go faster. While that's cooling, I can prepare the rest of the artichoke dip. So I'm going to mince four cloves of garlic, and mine are fairly large here, but I love garlic, so I don't mind. You can use less if you're not huge on garlic. So I cut off the root first, and then I'm going to put my knife flat here and just kind of smash it. That's gonna help the skin come off pretty easily. If you want a shortcut, you can use two teaspoons of jarred minced garlic instead, or in a pinch, you can also use half a teaspoon of garlic powder, but I think fresh garlic really tastes best. Once these are peeled, just slice them thinly and then gather them all together and just use a rocking motion to mince. Now I'm going to chop up my artichokes. I have a 14 ounce can of artichokes here. Sometimes I get the 14 and a half ounce cans. Either works fine. So I just slice these in half and then slice those in half again. And make sure you drain the can of artichokes before you do this. My artichokes were packed in water, but the kind packed in oil work as well. They can come in a can or a jar. Or if you're lucky enough to have some fresh artichoke hearts, those would be delicious here. But they're usually more work than I wanna put in for a spinach artichoke dip. I cut each one into about six pieces, or sometimes it turns out more like four. It's up to you how big you like your pieces in your dip. So since these are quite watery, even after you've drained them, I like to squeeze these before adding them to the dip. Again, this is to avoid a watery dip. You can wrap in a towel or cheesecloth if you like. I just use my hands. Less things to clean later. And just squeeze each batch a few times to get as much water out as possible. They should look pretty dry once you're done with that. We're done with the chopping. Now we're ready to mix everything together. So I'm going to add four ounces of cream cheese to a large bowl. I'm using full fat cream cheese here. You can also use light if you like. Now, if you're super organized and you remember to soften your cream cheese first, you might be able to stir everything together as is, but I tend to make this last minute, so I'm actually going to go ahead and microwave this to melt the cream cheese and make it easier to stir. If you don't like using the microwave, you can also use a double boiler on the stove top instead, but I like this heating method because it doesn't require any planning ahead. So just stir that, make sure it's nice and soft. Next, add two tablespoons of mayonnaise. You can use any mayo here. I like avocado oil mayonnaise because the ingredients are cleaner. If this is important to you, do check ingredients on the back because sometimes it says olive oil or avocado oil mayo, and really it's made with canola oil or GMO soybean oil. I'll link the brands I like to use down below. And two tablespoons of sour cream as well. If you don't have sour cream on hand, you can just use two additional tablespoons of mayo or Greek yogurt makes a nice substitute. Next is a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. If you only have shredded, that will also work as well. It's all going to melt anyway. And I'll go ahead and add those garlic cloves that I minced earlier and the artichokes. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper is going to balance out the flavors, but this isn't really enough to make it actually spicy. So if you do like heat, you can add a little more or even some cayenne if you like. Notice I didn't add any additional salt because a lot of the ingredients are already salty enough. And I have two thirds of a cup of shredded mozzarella here. I'm going to use half of that right now and half will be for the topping. You can measure it out if you really want to. A third of a cup now, a third of a cup later. I usually just eyeball it. That looks about right. You can always add more for the topping. It seems like it's not enough and just stir this together to combine. 
Keep in mind that the artichokes can be a little fragile, so I like to use a folding motion for the most part to avoid crushing them too much. So now I'm going to squeeze the spinach just like I did with the artichokes. This is going to get all that extra moisture out. Again, to make sure our dip is not watery. Sometimes it's surprising how much liquid you get out of this. And if you use frozen spinach, you'll still want to do this step, even if you skip the cooking step. Once it feels like you can't get much more liquid out, you can go ahead and add that to the bowl. And stir that all together. The spinach can sometimes be stuck in one piece, so make sure you kind of break it apart so that it mixes evenly. We just need to transfer this to a baking dish. This one is about one quart. That's a good size for this recipe, but you can also double the recipe if you like and make it in a bigger baking dish. And just spread it evenly in there. Now just sprinkle the remaining third of a cup of shredded mozzarella on top. The exact amount you need will vary a little bit depending on the size and shape of your baking dish. So you can just eyeball it. For me, a third of a cup was just perfect for this one. I'm going to go ahead and bake this now, but you could also jazz it up and add some crumbled cooked bacon on top or even some sun-dried tomatoes. I have some homemade recipes I'll link down below for you. Bake spinach artichoke dip for 20 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until hot and bubbly. I like this nice and browned, but you can take this out a little earlier if you like less browning. I usually put this on a larger platter right away, that way I can add the dippers right next to it and serve. So I have some tortilla chips here and some carrots and celery. You can serve this with other veggies as well. Bell peppers work really nicely since they're great for dipping. And I myself am mostly low carb and gluten free. So these veggies are perfect. The tortilla chips are gluten free as well. But you can also do bread or crackers, just depends on your dietary preferences. And sometimes I like to add a little sprinkle of fresh parsley on top as well, just for a little color. Time for me to try this. Creamy, cheesy, my favorite kind of comfort food. Let me know what you think if you try this. And if you like this dip, add these cheesy jalapeno poppers to your appetizer platter too.